Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to the Brandon Coin YouTube channel and today I'm going to be going over some common BIOS settings that most motherboards will or have to be changed. Uh, some of your more mining specific motherboards will already come preloaded with these settings but um, I apologize in advance because I go downstairs and I'm actually plugged into a one of my rigs so I can show you kind of what it looks like. Obviously all different BIOSes look a little bit different but these settings are, are pretty through and through and pretty universal for most most motherboards, most modern motherboards. Um, but yes, I, I again I do apologize because the fan noise in my garage because I, I it's getting warm so I had to put another box fan in there and it, it's, it's a little loud so just uh, headphone warning um, and yeah. All right, guys, I go ahead and apologize for the fan noise in advance. Um, there's really no way around it. But a lot of people were asking me, they have only three or four graphics cards showing up on a lot of these mining specific motherboards. There's a couple uh, quick settings that can normally fix it for most people. So the motherboard in question today is a Gigabyte H110D3A. I don't know if the camera can pick that up. Um, out of the box, these will support four graphics cards. You have to change just a couple quick settings in the BIOS. And this, this applies for most motherboards, uh, especially on the Intel side of things. Um, so let me uh, navigate to that and I'll show you what it is. All right, so a big one is, uh, it'll say Windows 8 or 10 features. If you're gonna run this on Hive or any other Linux-based mining operating system, I always leave it set to other OS or off on some. It'll be like Windows 10 features and you can turn it on or off. And then where it says other PCI devices, make sure that's always set to UEFI. I have really good luck with that. Um, on this motherboard that's underneath the uh, BIOS settings. So let's continue onwards. All right, now under peripherals, it's not always gonna be under this tab depending on the motherboard mining mode this motherboard does have that so that is turned on initial display output make sure that's always to internal it makes it a lot easier if you have to plug in a monitor you can just plug it into the motherboard if that's an option on your motherboard instead of trying to figure out which graphics card is giving output um, and then above 4g decoding that's a huge one make sure that one's on without that most of the time you won't be able to run the full amount of graphics cards on the motherboard that you're trying to use. So once you have all those set, uh, some people say it's a good idea to set PCIe Gen to Gen 1. I always leave it on auto, but that may be an option if you have any, any issues on your particular motherboard. Not all motherboards are created the same, so you may have to play with yours, but this is, for the most part, if you get these settings in your BIOS, 99% of the time, everything should be showing up. And if you still don't have something showing up, you may want to swap it with another slot or try it on another machine just to verify you have a working graphics card or riser. All right, and you always F10 to save your settings and then let it reload back in. And then you need to make sure that all your settings have actually stuck. So we're going to go over to peripherals. We are still in mining mode, internal graphics and 4G decoding is on, so that's good. Let's fire this bad boy up and get all six cards showing. Alrighty, so we come back upstairs and we have one, two, three, four, five, six, 1660s reporting for duty, mining, ready to go. So yeah, that, it's as simple as that, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the world of BIOS settings. Now, um, I have run it freaking phone. Um, I have run into this in the past where you set BIOS settings and they won't stick whenever you fully power down a rig. Sometimes if you buy an old motherboard, the battery won't be installed that holds the settings for the actual BIOS. So make sure your battery is not popped out or sometimes you might need to put a new battery in it. It's not common, but a lot of this mining gear, especially if you buy it used, it could be fairly old. Um, so just you know, food for thought there. Anyway, guys, have a good one. Old jellyfish people out there, you know, you know what to do. By the way, please don't fall for the scammers in the comments. I do my best to try to delete them and uh, remove them and hide. I can't ban those accounts from 
posting on my channel, but I can hide them from my channel, which does I don't really think it does anything. Just please, please don't fall for the scammers. So other than that, take it easy, ladies and gentlemen. We'll see you on the next one. Boom.